What's up everyone? Welcome back to another one of my videos and in this video we're going over the week two schedule grid and notable free agents. So first up is uh, the schedule grid and it's an action-packed week. Monday is the weakest total of games where we have five games. Every other game um, there's 10, 8, 7, there's one more uh, day with six games but besides that it's seven plus. And Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday are likely going to be your full roster days. So you want to be looking for someone where you could get like a Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday type of thing, Thursday, Saturday. Now, if you don't have a full roster on Tuesday, that might actually benefit you. And we'll get that into that in a second here. But teams that play four times this week, we have a bolo. There's 14 of them. So it's Atlanta, Boston, Brooklyn, Chicago, Denver, Detroit, the Clippers, the Lakers, Memphis, Oklahoma uh, City, Phoenix, Portland, Utah, and Washington. Every other team plays th only uh, three times this week. Now we have three teams that play back-to-backs on Monday and Tuesday this week, which could be a good thing if you don't have a full roster on Tuesday and those teams are Denver, Detroit, and Oklahoma City and I'm going to be getting into players that you could be targeting on those days later on in the video so make sure you stay tuned for that. Next up we have back-to-backs, teams with back-to-backs on Tuesday to Wednesday which include the Celtics, Clippers, Bucks, and the Heat. Now same thing goes with what I just said about Tuesday. These teams, um, if, you, if you don't have a full roster on Tuesday, you may really like someone on one of these teams that you could uh, double down on from Tuesday and Wednesday. Next up, we have uh, teams with back-to-backs on Thursday to Friday, which include Chicago, Phoenix, Washington, and Utah. Now, um, like I've been saying about the Tuesday thing, same thing goes with the Friday thing, which is if you have a full roster on Friday, this may not benefit you, but if you don't, this can really benefit you. And the last set of back-to-backs will be Friday to Saturday, which include Atlanta and Charlotte. So same thing, guys, with the Friday game. So if you have a full roster, maybe that doesn't help you. But um, if you don't have a full roster, you could definitely prepare and get more out of the waivers this week. All right. Moving on to this week's uh, notable, notable free agents. So for standard leagues, which are free agents below 55% rostered, and this is specifically for ESPN. So we have Duncan Robinson, who's been shooting the lights out the first week of the season. He's only at 54%. Marvin Bagley, who's at 51%. And he's actually been struggling a bit. He's not shooting the ball well, but he's still averaging a double-double. So and he hasn't put up many defensive stats either. I think that's going to come in time. Now, the guy I'm surprised about that's still on 50% uh, in the free agent pool is Darius Garland, who I have. He's, he's just balling right now. I love what he's done for me in both games. He's shooting lights out. He's getting you a lot of assists, a lot of points, even a solid amount of rebounds and good steals and good threes. All around a great point guard. I highly recommend out of everyone on, on these lists if you can get Garland. Next up, we have Zubak who's also only rostered in 50% of leagues. He's about a double-double guy. So just someone you got to be aware of, guys. Next up, we have Malik Beasley, who's only rostered in 49% of leagues. Now, the thing with Malik Beasley, I think people were scared off on him because of the law, uh, the lawsuit that's going to be coming and the punishment that's going to be coming. But I actually don't think that's coming until next year because – his trial will not start and his punishment will not start until after this season. So uh, you got to go get him, guys. He's definitely worth having on your roster for the time being. Uh, as long as he shoots the ball well, which he didn't last night, he should still put up good points, good free throw percentage. He's probably going to hurt you a little bit in the field goal percentage category. But even last night, he gave me a bunch of rebounds uh, that I wasn't uh, expecting. And he's starting. He's a starter. He's starting over Anthony Edwards. I mean, different positions, but he's the man. Uh, Edwards is the man who got left out of the starting lineup. And he's seeing a lot of time as well. So he definitely needs to be added. He needs to be off this list next week. You guys got to pick him up. 
especially if you need threes, points, and good free throw percentage. All right, next up is Dylan Brooks, who's on Memphis. He's only rostered on 42% of ESPN leagues. He's been up and down. First game was good. Second game, not so much. He shot the ball a lot, but then he didn't um, make a lot of shots. So he may be one of those guys like uh, Tyler Harrow where uh, he's off and on and you don't know what you're going to get. Next up is P.J. Washington. Now, he had a horrendous first game of the season, but he came back really strong last night and put up a great stat line last night. And he's only rostered in 41% of leagues. He could be a 1-1-1 guy this year, and he's someone that needs to be on your roster if you have the space. He's going to give you a little bit of everything, and he's definitely going – I can't imagine a roster that wouldn't be able to use him right now in standard leagues. Next up, we have OG Anunubi. Anunobi. Anunobi. Man, I screw up every time. Anyway, for OG, there's only 37% rostered on ESPN leagues. Now, he hasn't been do he hasn't done anything great yet, but he's he's been doing a little bit of everything. He, someone you should put on your watch list, keep an eye out for. He's just one of those guys that if he could get going a little bit more, if he could give you a little bit extra, should be on a roster in every league, but he's got to do a bit more to earn that spot right now, but something you just should be aware of. Last up on standard leagues is Davis uh, Bertans. Only roster in 33% of leagues, and I can understand why, as he's going to give you a bunch of points, well, a good portion of points, but a bunch of threes, and he's going to shoot the ball well. So if that's what you need on your team right now, he's the guy you should be going after. Even maybe try and target him in a low-level trade. All right, so for deeper leagues, which is some I consider free agents below 30% rostered on ESPN, the first man up is Jordan Clarkson, who's only rostered in 25% of leagues, who he's going to give you a lot of points. Field goal percentage won't be good, but he's going to throw in some extra stats here and there as well, like threes, a couple, two or three rebounds, two or three assists. Um, just a nice here and there type of player. But for deeper leagues, he... he he can. I don't know what to say about him, but he he can't provide for you, just a little bit. So it's just someone to keep an eye on. Next up is Aaron Baines, who's only at twenty two percent. He's starting for Toronto, and he's going to be close to what he's doing now. He hasn't put up great defensive stats yet, to my recollection, but he's still low teens and points and high high rebounds, like about eight rebounds. He might even be able to average a double-double this year if he gets enough playing time, which he's garnered, garnered so far. All right, next up is Kevin Herter, who I'm kind of surprised about because he shot the ball well, really well yesterday. He's only rostered in 22% of leagues. So same thing um, like Bertans, good in points. Good. He can uh, kill it in the percentage category, especially free throws. He's, he's more consistent there, and he's going to give you threes. Uh, speaking of, Terrence Ross, who's only rostered in 21% of leagues, he's starting and he's going to be doing this, about the same thing as Herder or Bertans. And same thing with J.J. Redick, who's only rostered in 18% of leagues. Moving on to someone who I'm kind of surprised about. I'm, I'm reading a lot of posts on Reddit where Baisley's the guy. So he's only rostering 14% of leagues, which I'm very surprised about. He's not rostering mine, but I am going to be looking to pick him up. Uh, possibly. I'm going to be considering him. Uh, I'm probably going to pick him up before I release this video. I'm just waiting for today's games to start so I can get a waiver. But he can do a little bit of everything, and some people are comparing him fantasy-wise to a younger version of Robert Covington. I would love to have a younger version of Rob Robert Covington on my roster. I don't know about you, but I personally would, and that's something I'm kind of missing. So that's why he's right on my target uh, list. Like He's top priority for me this week, and I want to pick him up. There's another reason why he's top priority is, uh, as well. So we're going to get into that in a second. The last man up is Cam Reddish, who's only rostered in 7% of leagues. And right now, I am blanking on him. I know he had a good game yesterday, but he's someone who's getting a lot of minutes, and he's putting up a decent amount of stats. I can't, off the top of my head, cannot remember what he's doing, but just look at him in your leagues if he's available. If you like what you see, pick him up. 
All right, guys, before I go into the double down free agents, I just want to remind you to make sure to su subscribe to my channel as I'm going to be bringing back, uh, well, I'm going to be bringing more fantasy basketball content all season long. It's probably going to be two to three videos a week, guaranteed, and then I'm going to try every so often to throw in a couple extra videos. Like I have something that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in once I finish it, which I'm going to be starting recording today. But I'm not going to get into that right now. So moving on to the double down free agents. So here we have, what I mean by double down, first of all, is a free agent that you could plug in night, uh, two nights in a row. So you're going to be getting double the production. So you're basically basically double downing on them. So for the Monday to Tuesday back-to-backs, there's a, a few teams there. So we have Will Barton, Paul Millsap, Josh Jackson, Mason Plumley. Darius Baisley, which is why I'm so high on him right now. Another reason is because he's on this list. And so then we have George Hill, who's been killing it. 4% guys, he needs to be on more rosters than 4%. He's going to get the time, and he's going to put up a nice uh, stat line, most nice. And then uh, Dort is also in 4% of leagues. I'm not, I don't know too much about Dort right now, but he, he is on 4% of leagues, and someone you should at least keep an eye on, especially in, in those deeper leagues. So, specifically today, which is Sunday, or before games start tomorrow, Monday, you want to at least look at some of these guys, because you can plug these guys in for Monday and Tuesday before you use another waiver uh, claim. Or not, excuse me, not a waiver claim, but a, a, before you look for a new stream, stream option. All right, so moving on to Tuesday to Wednesday back-to-backs. We have Tristan Thompson, Jeff T, Nicholas Batum, Ivica Kubak, I misspelled that, Avery Bradley, Duncan Robinson, and Brooke Lopez. So I'm actually kind of surprised some of these guys are as low, uh, the, the roster percentage is as low as it is. So Tristan Thompson, he's a double-double guy, whatever. Oh, I spelled, what am I doing? Why am I putting S's where, oh, whatever. So Jeff T, not Jeff T. <laughs> so... Jeff Teague's only rostering 13%. He hasn't been playing well yet, but he's getting the minutes, so just keep an eye out on him because once he once he gets rolling, you definitely want to claim him for a hot streak. Nicholas Batum on the Clippers, he's getting more minutes than a lot of us uh, projected. Good for him. Good for people who picked him up. And good for you if you do pick him up because he's uh, going to give you a little bit in each, each category. Then Kubox, the double-double guy. Avery Bradley, who's only one – he's less than 1% right now. But he's someone you want to keep an eye on because he just played his first game last night for the Heat, and um, he played well. He played well enough to at least garner some attention. And the last two guys, Duncan Robinson, who's been shooting lights out, and Brooke Lopez, who can give you a strong, you need blocks this week. You may want to double down on Brooke Lopez. All right, guys. So next up, um, we have the back-to-back. Back-to-backs for Thursday to Friday. So those include Patrick Willis, Jay Crowder, Jordan Clarkson, and Davis Bertans. And so, like I said, if you aren't full on Friday, those are the guys you may want to double down on. And if you don't like any of those guys, you could double down Friday to Saturday. And those include Herder, Reddish, Hunter, all Hawks, all been playing well. All should probably be a little bit higher, at least... At least DeAndre Hunter should be higher in that in the roster percentage. Anyway, moving on, PJ Washington, who played like garbage in this first game, but came back really strong in the second game. Got to roster him, guys. And the last guy up is Bayumbo, who's at 41%. And the reason why I have him on this list, um, a lot of people know Cody Zeller got hurt. He's the guy who's taking over for the next four to six weeks. Will be a great claim for you if you pick him up. Good rebounds, good blocks. Going to hurt you a bit in the free throw category, but if you can afford it, definitely someone you want to go after. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. And remember, make sure you like this uh, video if you found it helpful. And make sure you subscribe to my channel as I'm going to be bringing uh, fantasy basketball content all season long. All right, guys, have a good day.